It looks as good as delivery. It tastes as good as delivery, my friends. A simple, delicious chicken pad thai. That's what I'm gonna show you, you guys how to do thai today. For delivery? Yeah, bro. Who delivers pad thai? Thai places. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm CJ. This is CJ's first cooking show. Not to be confused that this is my first episode. Oh, jeez, leave that in the comments. There's been a few people that think it's my first episode. It's not. It's your second one. But right back there is Nate, right hey. over there is Ethan. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple and delicious chicken pad thai. I'm not saying authentic, but certainly good enough to be delivered. And Jack talk thai. Yeah. Jack talk thai real good. Jack can't talk thai. Jack's got lots of fans. Ooh, that's a good one. Random and obscure. <laughs> we will uh, see you guys in a second. To get started in most situations, we've got to start on Season. our protein. Today, I'm gonna to be using some chicken cutlets. Depending on ratio, you use cutlets the most. Uh, for a very good reason. It's mainly because it cooks quick. Uh, I like to be make quick. food that's a really fast cook, yeah. and this is one of those situations. Now, in the event of chicken pad thai being on your menu, let's just say that you don't like chicken. Just use any protein you like. Um, I've actually never seen a steak pad thai on a menu. I wonder if that's like a thing. You know, it's like if you're on a cooking show, you should have made one. Yeah, maybe so. Uh, but in this case, we're not. Just doing chicken. Let's okay. come back over here to the uh, Blackstone. The old stone. The old Blackstone. I um, actually just cranked this up on high. So here in just a minute, I'm gonna turn it down to like a medium, medium high. And so you're not gonna hear a crazy amount of screaming hot because I just turned it on a second ago, and so waited a second. Maybe it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Just a flesh wound. There is a debate uh, in the American culture of sauce. Peanut butter? Do you add it to this? Oh, that's a fun trick. I'm a fan. It's, yeah, it's a good trick. But to be honest with you, that's not how you're gonna do. That's it not today. how they do it. And that's oh. not how I'm gonna do it. I respectfully disagree. Um, so I've got some rice vinegar. Also right behind that, I'm gonna be adding some fish sauce or Your fish favorite? oil. What? Why? Because it's supposed to be in You're it. gonna do it? Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you, it's... I never... It's pretty potent, pretty heavy. So you don't wanna go too aggressive. What's that? Seven, 17 shakes of it? You'd seven, a, a shake or two, be back in a sh Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. That. Uh, then we've got some soy sauce. Fish and then sauce I've got, is weird, but it's I've got great. some brown sugar. A little sweetness, okay. So we're gonna sweeten it up uh, because it is not sweet enough, Turkish. Uh, and you know what? Because I'm feeling saucy. <laughs> very saucy. Gonna, because again, I'm not saying that this is 100% authentic, but. This will be 100% delicious. It'll be 100% delicious. delicious. We're gonna add, oh, if this lime will produce any lime juice. There we go. Just had to man up a little bit. Oh, uh, wow. The, the aromas from the lime, the soy, and the fish sauce just yes. elevated. So like I was saying, like the, the misconception is that you have to add peanut butter to this to make it, to give it that oh, pad thai flavor. It could be great, but. That's how dad did it. So it's not how we are gonna do it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, set that aside and move on. I've got a shallot here. We need to go ahead and get rid of this skin. You're now gonna the, mandolin that like that. Now the idea is that I'm gonna be slicing this real thin. I could do this by hand, but to be honest with you, I'm just not that good with a Dangerous knife. Dangerous business. <laughs> um, cat. So I'm gonna get this real nice and thin. I'm gonna set that aside. And also I've got a micro pl microplane. Sure. Yeah, that's what, yeah. And we're gonna use this to get our garlic real Dang. nice and tiny. Again, Heck this yeah. is another one. I could chop it up myself, but I want it to be like where it emulsifies. It gets real, real thin. Yeah. and kind of becomes part of the oil. Heck yeah. Which is part of the process. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and let's go ahead and check on our chicken. I think it needs a flip. Let's double check and have a look-see. That's Beauty. what I'm looking for. That's so beautiful. Yep, golden and delicious. All right, now let's kind of scoot those to the back. And actually, you know what? What? We're at a stopping point. Are we? We're at. A, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna bring those back. Okay. We have to get on. We have so much time and so little to do. Strike that. Reverse it. This way, please. I want to pull these off when they're done because that's when we're gonna move on to the next part. That's gonna be like. 
Oh okay. no, no! Nope, we're good. Okay. No, wait! I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, sir. Please. Please, I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. Okay. Yeah, actually. <laughs> we'll be back in like two minutes, yeah. maybe three. Chicken sounds and looks Whoa. done. This is the beauty of cutlets. I'm not like hating on the chicken breast. It's just, it cooks so fast mm. and I'm cooking for my family. I really, Want really that. love the quick nature of that. Chicken. Now speaking of good, <laughs> bro. Oh, rice these, cook super fast. These crews. So I would say, um, hold on a second. I'm gonna pull a Bruce here. Bruce always uses a knife to cut everything open. You have a Bowie knife. That's a knife. All right, I don't think we need all of these noodles, so we're gonna go, let's just do half of these guys. We're gonna throw these in here. Whoa, this should take whoa. about, I would say, four to six minutes. Now, while those are cruising, let's get to slicing, boys. I like that you cook the cutlets whole instead of cooking them already chopped up. You know, that's actually a really great point. In this case, we're getting a juicier product mm -hmm. in the end, and yeah, you get to, you kind of get to control it just a little bit better. It's yeah. not gonna be so dry. Um, you should do steak bites again. We talked about that technique on my show. Uh, I did it Cooking recently. large I, pieces of meat helps you retain juiciness. Yes. Uh, actually, I have an episode that's probably already out at this point. It's uh, the balsamic, what was it, Ethan? Balsamic steak with the asparagus, right? No, 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 that's the, uh, that's the Cajun. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. No. It's not, it's not Cajun. You watch CJ's show? Only because he's been editing my show recently. CJ is a show? <laughs> a show? This freaking guy. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go back in, you know, and I'm gonna leave that chicken flavor right there. And I'm gonna grab separately, don't wanna do it at the same time. We're gonna do our shallots and garlic, but first is gonna be shallots. Dude, when you use that because... microplane on the garlic, the aroma is insane. Oh, dude, once imagine... you start moving and cruising with it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Season that with just a little bit of salt real quick. And that's gonna be there for my garlic as well. And I honestly, I think, dude, it's a, it's a moving, it's a cruising. I'm gonna add some garlic. What do you do with the liquid you had earlier? The sauce? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna add it to the stuff. So oh. Just give me a second here, guy. Things and stuff. Yeah, the things and the stuff. Sweetheart, how many times have I told you, don't say and stuff. Just say, Dad, there are more oil. That smells There's delicious. that aroma that I'm talking about. Righteous man. Righteous bro. Bodacious! Yeah. <laughs> okay, now while that's going, here yeah. in just a sec, we're gonna do our chicken. But before we do, I have just a second here. Is that for a uh, garnish or are you gonna cook it? Nope, I'm actually gonna use, well, actually, good question. I'm gonna do both. Are I'm you going to. Both. 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 I'm gonna do a bias cut right up here at the top, and this is the part of the green onion that I'm gonna be cooking Look with. Look at that deep bias. Thank you, sir. And hanging out with Norman Van Aken or something? Well, maybe a day or two from, from time to time. From time to time. From time to time. From time to time. And then I'm gonna get the whites down here. And whites this... for cooking, greens for garnish, dude. Actually, it's the complete opposite. I'm doing the greens for cooking. Gotcha! But it's a quick cook. It's not like fully, oh, like taking take time. Take back everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It's like, strike that. Reverse, Reverse it. it. Reverse it. Moving fast, moving fast. Okay. Woo. Is this where stuff starts to come together? This is where it's all gonna start moving real quick here. So we're starting to get those crispy shallots, that garlic and oil. Oh, that was amazing it's all already. coming together. All right, I think it's time. Let's grab some noodles, boys. Okay, hit me. Hit Are me, the Seymour. Seymour. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's so That's sick. That's crazy. Dude. We have that brother connection, too. Yeah. Yeah. Pirates, Paper clips, bananas, I don't know. In we go. Hold on, need a little bit more. In we go. And even if those are a little al dente, they're gonna finish cooking right over here. We're gonna sauce it up. I'm gonna do most of it, and I'm gonna leave a little bit for the, here at the very wow. end. Give it a second. Now here's another part that's just, we're gonna start cooking and going real quick. Not very many people realize you can do noodles on your Woo! What? But man, can we. All right, check it out. So you guys stay there. I'm just kidding. I can hear you. It was just really mean. So I've heard this technique before where you can drop an egg and it'll crack on its own without any no, shells in it. No, do it. Let's try it. Oh, nope. There's 100% yeah. of shells. Totally works. 
Those whoever said that was idiots. Nice trick. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's try just doing it the right way. Look at that. There we are. Okay. So we're going to cook this real, just break it up real quick. And then here's where we start. With Johnny? Yes. Okay. Our composite and incorporate. But you know what? what? I, I like I like egg. I like a one lot more? of egg in mine. I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, so let's get that cooking real fast. See, it's all the leftover chicken. All like, the things. The egg picked it up. All the things. There we go. Start mixing around. All right, I know we're moving fast, boys, but we gotta stay got right it. there. Dude, That's the, tough. The aromas are insane right now. Gonna add some of the green onions. If you had all this prepped out and you were throwing a party, oh, dude, you this could cook for like 20 people a in lot no time. quicker than what we're doing. Now I've got some bean sprouts. I don't know why, but my wife doesn't love bean sprouts yeah. nearly as much as I do. Because Wasn't that your nickname in high school? The old bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Classic bean sprout move, bro. All right, um, dude. I, I think we're we're pretty much we're about we're about you to go be with done. The rest of the sauce. Exactly. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sauce. I that's sauce two stage saucing. It's a pro move. It pro kind of move. lengthens the amount of time you can have your noodles on. Yeah, and if you saw right at the beginning when it started bubbling like that, it starts to reduce. So as you finish the cooking process, it's glazing. It's looking gorgeous. See this? All right. So while this finishes, while that finishes, I'm going to turn the heat off. Come back over here, boys, real okay. quick. What you got here? I've what got you got there, boy? Yeah. You have a sucking egg. Go sucking egg. Where are your parents? Get sketchy. Back to you guys. This is where that peanut flavor is going to come in. It's not the, oh, peanut butter, I said the peanut butter, but this is certainly on the level of Chinese takeout or Thai takeout, right? Thai takeout. Thai takeout. Gotta be. It's gotta be. Uh, let's do this, boys. In on, we now, go. That smells and looks awesome, bro. I, I didn't doubt it. Yes. No, no, no. I'm serious. I didn't doubt it. I did. Um. Yeah, only the penitent man will pass. Nice. He who kneels, kneels before God! And now it is time to garnish. Dude. So we've got some more green onion. That's money. We're gonna top up there. I've got some peanuts. And one last thing that we're gonna do. Sriracha? No, we're not really? gonna do sriracha. Nope. No heat? Nope, not in that way. I'd like some heat. I bet you would. Panama, Panama Red. Red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a little slice there, but also one last squeeze. Oh yeah. There at the top, and my friends, what you have is a delicious homemade chicken pad Thai, as good or better than Thai delivery. It's not delivery. Not, not that I've had Thai delivery, but. You should. You should. But you don't need to anymore. Oh good. Because you got this. Yeah. Having never made this before. Why do I, you always make stuff on your show that you've never made? Because I want people to see that this is possible, that you don't have to be yeah. like a formal chef, but with a few of the proper techniques, you yeah. can absolutely crush this. Um, it looks phenomenal. It smells phenomenal. It looks like what I would get at Thai restaurants, like truly. So um, let's, ooh. I think a few of those things, like cooking the chicken whole to keep it juicy, which was nice. Having the fish sauce, even though you don't like fish, the audible of the lime juice, that touch of acidity. Tastes just like it. Tastes just like it. Bunny way. <laughs> Bunny way. Guys. Bunny way. Bunny way. Bunny way. So quick. So simple. So bunny. Bunny <laughs> way. How you whatever you like. Uh, this this is too awesome and delicious not to cook at home. I promise you, yeah. if you like pad thai, oh, this will 100% satisfy Only that chicken pad thai I need. I want, I want a little heat. You know what, a little heat would be fine, but that's not necessarily always involved. Um, this is not authentic, but sure is freaking good delicious. enough. Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. But speaking of comments, my uh -oh. friends, it is officially time uh -oh. to stick around. It's CJ's favorite comments. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Welcome 
to the party on the back end of the episode, my friend. <laughs> it's business up front and party in the back. That's this the, is the, the mullet. mullet. The Malay. Welcome to the mullet of the show. You hear that in there? Uh, this is the segment of the show where I screenshot comments mm, that come do. from you, the viewers. That's right. If you guys write it, we read it, and then we talk about it and share it, and we have a little fun with it. So, starting from the top, in no particular order, this first one comes in from Greco Five. Greco, Greco Roman Wrestling. Yes. Yes. Uh, Greco Five, and this is on our Rumble channel. So glad to see there's some comments coming in. Oh, dude, this is great. Greco Five says. Uh, that's horrible. <laughs> is that it? That's it. <laughs> that's, that's like, okay. that's all it is. Uh, I don't remember which episode this was, but it wasn't horrible. Is Greco-Roman Greco Greco noodles? Greco yeah, exactly. Um, Greco 5. Why you gotta be hating like that, dude? Actually, you know what? It's fine that you hate. It's fine. I, I don't mind the comment. He was probably it's being sarcastic. Surely, right? He means the opposite. He, he probably had something nice to say. Obviously. Yes. But he didn't say anything nice. So... I guess I'll ring it. Oh, I didn't think we were going to ring. We're going to ring it to bring it. And well, when in Rome. <laughs> i wrestling. Yeah. Great. Save 50% or more on your card. Geico? <laughs> oh, Geico! <laughs> Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Okay, this next one. This is fun. Uh-oh. Comes in uh, from Bill Walsh, and it's on your episode. Okay. Bill says, wow, this is the first of your videos I could watch all the way through. No movie references, no stupid video what? clip or picture inserts. Great on, job. On my video? What is... Guys, people I, think I am mean. He is he. You is and we... We are all together. We are A, but not yeah. the. Yeah, not the... the... Not the, I mean, the royal we. <laughs> the royal we. You know, the editorial... Right underneath it, I said, why does a movie line or two cause you to hate the video? And then I commented again, also, there was a movie reference in this episode. <laughs> then at the so very good. bottom, we got another one that slides in. Uh, I am no one says, that's why I dislike this guy's nonsense. All of the Blackstone people, of all the Blackstone people... He's the worst. Wait, me? I think he's talking about me, but it's on your show and it's on... We don't even look alike. We are not identical twins. <gasps> oh no! No, but we're smart enough, we're, we're good enough. And doggone it, some people like me. But not this You're guy. You're a great guy, don't beat yourself up. Aw, oh, thanks, Honey Bunny. Speaking of Honey Bunny, hey CJ, did you know? Did you know that Honey Bunny was actually named after a real bunny? Uh, was no. the bunny's name Honey? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on that, but He's it not was... a honey percent. <laughs> I, I gotta go pee. I'm gonna go home. It was uh, owned by Linda Chen, who wrote out the handwritten script that Quentin Tarantino... Quentin Tarantino hand wrote. There we go. She wrote it out, and um, she said, well, yeah, I did this. Can you just watch my bunny while I'm on location for the movie and all that? And he said, sure. He ended up not watching the bunny and it ended up dying oh, oh no so he named a character after her bunny wow no more honey bunny no more honey bunny but you know what everybody including bill walsh needs to be cool bill be like <laughs> the fonz all right and what is the fonz cool what cool correct the mundo be cool honey bunny Explorer AZ says, this is probably the only video of yours where I would prefer the Taco Bell version. Oh. That one dang. stung a little bit. That That's mean more than you know. Yeah. Like Taco Bell. Uh, I don't know how to take that one. But I'm going to just shake it off. Shake it off. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I never watched that show. I'm too old. Or Blue's Clues. Did you watch Blue's Clues? That was like, no. Me either. I did. You would. You... When I was a kid. I am a child. Okay, great. I've got a little rebuttal from Paco PR. Says, Paco. wow, that breakfast taco slash pizza looked amazing. Nice. I like your cooking style and give me and it gives me great ideas to create. Take that! Paco knows taco. <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> Guide explorers as the Arizona yeah. desert. Cheers to Paco. Cheers to Paco. Cheers. What did you just say? Okay, we've got to wrap this one up with one last long is it, comment. Is it a doozy. 
It is a doozy, and it is lengthy. Oh, Here we go. Are... Oh, yeah. Ruben Gonzalez apparently mm -hmm. was very offended by my oh, no. breakfast What'd you do? Mexican pizza. He says, oh, my God. Let's go in parts. He didn't say adios mio. Dios mio, ma. Number one, there is nothing Mexican in that recipe. Not even the tortilla. Mm -hmm. La, La Mission is part of an American company and does not come close to the taste of the Mexican tortilla. Number two, no Mexican would use canned food to prepare his breakfast. Number three, I'm sorry, but your enchilada sauce is basically tomato puree and is far from real Mexican enchilada sauce Ouch. that has the content of different dried chilies and fresh vegetables. Yeah. Number four, what you did is very <laughs> messed up version of our Huevos Rancheros. True. But you gave it a more attractive name to get more views. Even though your dish is surely delicious, I will ask you strongly that you okay. please stop calling your weird things Mexican food. You know and what? last but number... Number least. Number least, number five. I have an internal conflict between what is more offensive to me, that you named the monstrosity Mexican food, <laughs> Or that you tell your subscribers that Taco Bell is Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss your mother with that mouth? You've gone mental. What's this guy's name? Spencer's Ruben. Spencer's bro. Ruben? Number one. I like Ruben. Number one. I agree with Ruben. I made a copycat of Taco Bell's right. Mexican pizza. They named it, not me. Number two. I made a copycat of Taco Bell's <laughs> Mexican pizza. And I'm using these these okay. various ingredients. And I don't claim to be this rock star chef, but I am a dad who loves to cook and can cook some mm -hmm. good food for his wife and his kids and do it in a timely manner. And you know what they like? They like breakfast Mexican pizzas that are a copycat from Taco Bell. So if I had a bell, I would ring it like that. I do good okay. day, sir. <laughs> I agree with Ruben. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. <laughs> you got the ceilings dirty. Which now has to be washed and sterilized so you get nothing. You lose. Good day. Sorry for yelling. <laughs> uh, so be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com for all kinds of goodies, all kinds of recipes, all kinds of deals. Uh, definitely go to griddlenation.com mm. for shirts, Yay. swag, all kinds of special stuff. And remember, it's a party. And if you don't think so, nah, dude. But it kind of is. Yeah. Uh, for always. sure, enjoy all those locations for greatness. Feel free to comment on CJ's ruining of ethnic Anything. cuisine. All things. To be fair, I you did say it was Taco Bell. And to say Taco Bell's Mexican would No, be I would never. I would yeah. never. But his sister did. Uh, either way, listen, if you walk away with knowing nothing else, yeah. know that this is my first cooking show. It is. And I happen to cook. And quote. That's what I do. And I also Dems make the rules. Them's the rules, and I make delicious chicken pad thai. Yeah, it was good. Really, really good. good. Really good. Do it. Do it. See you soon. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Later, guys. Do it. Bacardi and Cola, do it. Do it.